What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we are going to be talking about a secret raid chest, how to get it, and also what it awards, and so let's get started. Now this chest is tied to the wishes involved in the last wish raid. You have to go to the wish room off the very start of the raid. If you don't know about the wish room, I did a video a couple of days ago on it. Essentially, just before you go to the first encounter and face Kali, you can peel off to the left, um, jump over some water, like around some rocks, and you'll start to see these uh, pathways. You can follow these ledges that are covered in grass. You can jump from one to another to another. Eventually, make your way around to this special wish room. Now, this wish room works in the sense that you enter codes, essentially. You shoot the blacked out symbols, they change and they cycle through a whole list of symbols, eventually changing back to black if you keep shooting them. And you enter these certain wishes. And when you do, you step on the plate. If everything is correct, it will grant you that wish. Now, wish number two is a wish for material validation, and if you enter the code, as you can see on the screen, stand on the plate, it does nothing. It, it does absolutely nothing, at least we thought. Turns out, it actually spawns a special chest between the third and fourth encounters. That's between Swolgroth, uh, Morgoth the Spire Keeper, and the Vault. So, in between traveling to those two areas, you can find this chest. So, spawn the chest and just go and get it, right? Well, not necessarily. Unfortunately, this is a special chest, and you will need a special key in order to open it. Specifically, you will need a glittering key pictured right here. So, how do you get the glittering key? Well, I got mine out of the very end chest of the Last Wish Raid. That's right, you have to beat the entire Last Wish Raid, which is definitely no easy feat. However, however, it's easier than you may think if you get the mechanics down. I've done a full, complete guide of every single encounter for the Last Wish Raid. Definitely, if you guys want to take a crack at the raid, check that out. Honestly, once you know the mechanics, it does make things a lot easier. But, again, at that very final chest, after you've beaten the last encounter, you do have a chance to get the glittering key. So maybe you are someone who has beaten the raid and has been sitting in your inventory. Well, this is where you use this glittering key. So again, now you just have to get to this chest. You can just start the raid. Just do Kali, and then go and do the second encounter, Shiro Chi, then do Swalgroth, and then get to this chest. However, if you have a group that doesn't want to do that, what you can instead do is also use the wish room to teleport to Swalgroth. You can use this room, and if you enter the right code, if you enter the right wish, it will teleport you to certain encounters. So, you can use exactly the same symbols as you see on screen right now. This, I think, is a sixth wish and it will teleport you to Swolgroth. You're gonna have to beat Swolgroth, but he's honestly one of the easier encounters, but you do have to beat this guy. Then once you do, travel through the raid heading to the fourth encounter. Now, I should note in case you are wondering if you can just teleport to the fourth encounter, the vault and backtrack, you cannot. We tried this. If you teleport to the vault, uh, the way back is uh, blocked off, so you can't use that way. So you have to go to the third encounter, beat Swalgroth, and then go forward. In any event, you're going to head to this wide open area. Off to your right, there's going to be kind of a rocky pillar that has a suspiciously easy way to climb it. I remember when we were looking around here for chests the first time, I said, it seems like there should be a chest up here. Like, there's such a clear pathway to get up here. Well, turns out I was, I was right, because here is the chest now. And use your glittering key to open it, and you're going to get a special raid ship pictured here. Now, to be honest, Little disappointing, it's not even an exotic ship, and the way to get glittering keys is to beat the entire raid. Like, so, that's no easy feat for a legendary ship, eh. but, but, one of the things it does grant is another triumph. You do need to get this for one of your triumphs, so if you're going after uh, those raid milestones that give you the little name tag under you, under your gamer tag and stuff, like that is going to be something you need to do in order to get that. And, you know, we don't know all the wishes. There's six, I think, still undiscovered, so this could be a part of something much bigger. So, thought I would share that with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see 
more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And if you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.